Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of rates of change, specifically how we can calculate them, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we've got a simple problem here. Joaquin is putting some gas into his car. We know the total cost. We're looking for the rate of change. How much did each gallon cost? We need to get down to the unit cost. So think of it like this. We've got our total of 11.75, and that equals the amount of gallons that he put in, 4.7. And then let's just say X, right? X is going to be the cost for each gallon. So when we multiply that cost by the 4.7, we get our 11.75. How do we isolate the variable? Well, let's just divide both sides by 4.7. So we've got this improper fraction over here. Those two cancel out. So let's just turn this into a regular long division problem here. So we got 4.7 into 11.75. We know that when we divide, we don't want any decimals in the divisor. So we're going to multiply this by 10, move it over once. So we're going to multiply this by 10 to keep it balanced, move it over once. So really it's 47 into 117.5. So 47 goes into 117 at least twice. So double that, that is going to be 94. So we're just going to get back to our regular long division here. We've got 3. We've got 2. Now we need to bring this down to 35. Well, I'm going to estimate 4 or 5. Let's try 5 because I know 5 times 7 is going to get me something that ends with a 5. So that's good. 35. Look at that. It goes in perfectly even. So we're going to say it's 2.5. And that's 235. There's nothing left over. If there were, we would keep going. But if we wanted to write this now in something that we would recognize, we would say this is $2.50. So $2.50 per gallon. Multiply that by 4.7 gallons, you get your 11.75. Let's look at a different example. In our next example, we have a painter using 225 pints of paint to cover 45 square feet. And we have a rate here, constant rate. We need to find how many pints of paint are needed to cover just that one square foot. So we're looking at that base rate. So let's set up the equation the same way. What is our, our total? We've got our 45 square feet. And in order to hit that 45 square feet, we need 225 pints. And that is going to uh, cover that. So we've got our 225 pints hits our 45. And we multiply that by R, which we'll just say R is our rate. Right? So whatever that coverage rate is, is going to be R. Multiply that by 225 pints. And that gets us to our total of that 45 square feet. So if we want to figure out what this rate is of how much paint does it actually take to cover one square foot? We need to isolate that variable, right? And so we're going to divide both sides by 225. And as you can tell, if we're going to multiply 225 by something to get to 45, that's going to be something that is less than one. It's going to be a fraction. So those two are going to cancel out. And so really it looks like we've got, right, 45 225ths. That's going to equal R. That's not a fraction we are used to, so we're going to need to do a little bit of reducing, or we could possibly just divide. But let's see if we can reduce first. I notice that both of those are divided by 5. So let's just start reducing until we kind of run out of options here. So let's divide by 5 to begin with. Right, so that is going to be 9. And let's see, 5 goes into 225 four times. That's 25. Okay, 9 45ths. Huh. Well, both of those can be divided by 9, right? So let's just divide by 9. And we are going to go ahead and say that is 1 fifth. So it looks like our base rate is 1 fifth of a pint of paint gets you one square foot.